Ladies and gentlemen, having toured the country twice in the past year, our featured guest performers are fast becoming veterans of the road. They've built themselves an avid following here in KW and surrounding area. The song is Manifest Destiny. The band is Strange Days. <laughs> Northern face, she's 16 now, so the civilized space is a stream runner growing in my backyard. You can get a lot of this and never like a real boy. I'm in the Mexican cone of diary moist in the souls of breeze with crazy hopes. Wounds that heal in a pair of screen in the bloodshed's when I pass this to me. They wanna be when it's out of sight of me. Spanish style, special place of a king of shame where better winds reveal the day. The souls are dead and forest dance with memories of great romance. Although I fear this untamed world, I'll fade to black and die first. They wanna be inside the same day, propagates the manifest destiny. The souls that we save It's a long restaurant When you're in your own way Back in the studio, uh, Strange Days just performed for us moments ago. Uh, great song, Manifest Destiny. Really dig it. Thanks. All right. All right. Shannon, Mike, how you doing? Good. 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 So listen, um, this independent music thing here in Kitchener, uh, you guys are an unsigned band. Of course, you've, you've had a, a CD and a tape out in the past, but uh, what's it like to be in Kitchener right now as a rock and roll band, and, and uh, how is it feeling? Well, it's exciting. 
It's really cool because there's so many bands right now and a lot of good bands, and I think it's one of the best scenes I've seen in places we've traveled. Yeah. Yeah. And now, um, speaking of, of traveling, then, uh, we're, you guys have been out west twice now. Right. Um, out east twice now as well. Um, mm -hmm. London and uh, Toronto. London and Toronto, yeah. yeah. <laughs> what is it like uh, countrywide, response-wise, to, response to your wise. music, especially having never seen you or heard of you before? How do how do I think we're pretty lucky that way, you know. Uh, depending where we go, usually the crowd really sort of you know appreciates what we're doing, mm -hmm. not knowing who we are. Is there um, a, a particular region of the country that that seems to respond a little more quickly? Or oh, geez, we've had some fun shows in uh, in uh, Red Deer. Uh, a lot of small towns. Right? Yeah. Uh, universities are, are usually really good. Do you think touring helps the band? Um, Most definitely. You as know, far as playing, I think that's what that? it's all about. Really. Yeah. You you play your music, you rehearse, you you get your act together, and you take it on the road. You know, you you take it to the people. You don't wait for the people to come to you. You know, or the record people, or anyone in the whole industry for that matter. I think it's a matter of getting out there and sort of recognizing yourself before you become recognized. Right. And uh, now, speaking of touring, then, y you're going to go out again soon in September, I understand. In September is when we're going to go. Um, we'll, it'll be between four to eight weeks, mm -hmm. whatever we can get. And there'll be a lot of universities, which is always fun in September. Yeah. That's the orientations. And when we're done yeah, that, we'll just come fun. back into Ontario, and Ontario. Hopefully, we'll go out east, too. We don't know yet. Yeah. And what about uh, new recorded material? Is there anything we're well, We have three tracks to? finished right now. We put two of them on that new compilation CD. That, that the Hole in the Wall Breeding Ground. Yeah, that's right. right. And that's, uh, that's around. And the third single is just kind of sitting there. But yeah. uh, we're heading back in next month and we're going to, for a, for a future CD, hopefully in September, it'll be out. Is there anything uh, that you consciously have in your mind that you're going to do differently um, on this recording as opposed to uh, previous ones? We're, we're having a producer work with us. Rick yeah. Hutt. He's yeah. come down and he helps us out with the songs and which is, he's he's really cool about it too. He knows what he's doing and he, he lets us it do our thing. Good, and you know? Yeah. 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 There's, 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 he knows, there's he knows a real what we're about, really. relationship that you have to make sure yeah. is there before you go into something like that, yeah, I guess. Yeah, that's right. Um, Who has he worked with in the past? Northern Pikes, Tom Cocker. He Ray did Lyle. the newest Ray Lyle record. Yeah. Good stuff. Bands like that. Um, influence wise, who would you guys be into? Um, I know, Shannon, y you, you do like 13 Engines and stuff oh like yeah. that as well. Who are some big names that oh, you guys Neil Young into? is my guru yeah. of all time, you know. What about Mike? You know, mine. <laughs> Bruce Springsteen? That's, that's but, uh, you know, even around us, you know, not just musicians, uh, and there's lots of things that can influence you. Mm -hmm. I think just, uh, just the whole Canadian music scene in general, like, uh, there's, there's always something that's going to be thrown at you, maybe subconsciously or something, you know. Oh there's yeah. all kinds of different acts. Or there's a l there's a lot of good bands right now out too. Who yeah, is the uh, Strange Days fan? The Strange Days following here uh, locally and abroad in Southern Ontario. Who? Yeah. Uh, all kinds of people. Is there a particular type? Are they uh, young? The young the young crowd digs it. Yeah. But they're really uh, they excitable. appreciate it more. Yeah, they're excitable people, you know. Well, I'm sure you're going to pick up a lot more fans. That's for sure in the near future. Thanks for coming on the show. Appreciate Thank it very you. much. Thank you. And uh, hopefully good things happen to you real soon in the future. They're already happening for strange days, ladies and gentlemen. Um, we're going to check out uh, a graphic arts and design exhibit done by the uh, Conestoga College students of the last 25 years at that program. Uh, let's go now to the KW Art Gallery.